What's up everybody, it's Georgina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming a summer makeup look. It's going to be super bronzy and dewy and summery. Um, also, this is going to be the first time that I'm going to use my own eyelashes in my makeup tutorial. So if you guys did not know, I launched my own brand and I will leave the link to the announcement video and also to the Instagram and to the website if you guys maybe would like to buy a pair of lashes i'm just like super excited it's like crazy to me that i'm using my own product today in my makeup tutorial so if you guys would like to know how i do that summer makeup tutorial then please keep on watching <laughs> So I just primed my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I am moving on to foundation and today I'm using the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation in the number 6 and I really really love this foundation. I actually bought this last summer and I just think that this foundation is the perfect summer foundation because it is really really lightweight and it gives you the perfect amount of coverage. So I'm just gonna blend this in with this flat top Kabuki brush, I think it's called, from So Sweet by Suzanne Jackson, and I am just going to pat and blend this into my face, and the color matches my tan perfectly right now. I'm going to apply a little bit of the ColourPop Styx Highlighter Stick. This one is in the shade Bullseye, and I haven't used a cream highlighter in a really really long time but since we are doing a summer makeup tutorial oh my gosh that is so pretty since we're doing a summer makeup tutorial i obviously want super dewy and glowy skin so i'm just going pretty heavy <laughs> with this highlighter i'm just gonna take the same brush and just pat this in For my concealer, I'm using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium Tan Golden. And I'm going to focus this underneath my eyes because I do have under eye bags and also a little bit right here around the nose and on some pimples that I have. Because I picked on my face a couple of hours ago <laughs> this morning, so I'm going to cover them up. And I'm actually going to use my finger today to blend this concealer in. I recently started blending in my concealer with my fingers again. And I just love it. Like, it just has... It just makes it look so natural for some reason. I am, of course, going to set that down with some powder. I'm using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder today. And I'm just going in with this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and loading up some powder on there. And just setting on all the places that I also put concealer so it doesn't move and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going to apply too much in like the other areas of my face. Like I'm not going to put powder here because I am going for... A dewy look today so i'm focusing the powder in my t-zone the bronzer i'm going to use today is the nyx matte bronzer in the color deep tan um i've used this in some of my makeup tutorials recently and i oh my gosh i grabbed way too much oh shit but i fell in love with this bronzer like it is amazing the color is so good and the pigmentation as well you guys just saw it is super super pigmented so i'm in love with this bronzer just gonna warm up my face and make me look nice and tan and sun-kissed for this summer makeup tutorial <laughs> on top of the matte bronzer that we just applied i'm going in with the iconic london luminous powder in the shade deep and this is a gorgeous powder if you love a shimmery bronzer this is so good so i'm gonna apply just like a tiny bit on my brush and put that on top of the bronzer that we just applied to give it a little bit more of a shine and make it look more dewy and stuff so for my blush, I'm using the Jouer Adore Blush Duo, and I'm going to take a mix of these two colors. I haven't used this in a super long time, but this used to be one of my favorite blush palettes. So I'm just going to 
dip my brush in there and kind of mix them together and a trick that i learned from makeup by michael finch actually um i saw him do this in his youtube video in his most recent youtube video and he kind of like started applying his blush right here and then dragged it a little bit to the front so instead of um applying your blush here like this being the main focus he applied it right here and then kind of took it forward a little and his blush looked really nice so that's what i'm doing today i am moving on to my eyes and i'm gonna finish off my face later with a highlighter and stuff but i'm using the ColourPop soul palette which looks like this and this palette is so pretty when i look at this palette i think of summer so that's why i decided to use it today so i'm first going in with the color dynamite right here in the corner and i'm just gonna pick this up on a blending brush and blend this all over my lid and my crease as my main transition color Next, I'm picking up the color Unwind right here in the corner and I'm applying this in my crease as well to deepen up the look. By the way, all of the colors that I put on my eye, like on my lid, I'm going to apply on my bottom lash line too. So I just applied some of that orange color on my bottom lash line as well. And I'm going in with Unwind and deepen it up a little bit. First, I'm going to pack it on here and then I'm slowly and softly going to blend out the edges and blend it up a little bit higher as well and taking it down i'm going to line my lash line and my lower lash line and i'm going to use this palette right here this is actually a brow palette from zoeva the brow spectrum palette but i also love to use this um for eyeliner so i'm just going to go in with the darkest shade right here and i'm using a flat definer brush to line my lash line and kind of wing it out as always i have decided that i want to do a little bit of glitter on my lid so i'm going back into the color pop soul palette and i'm using a little bit of the color hotel right here i'm not gonna pick up too much because this shade right here is pigmented so i'm just only going to apply a little bit and focus this right here on my lid i'm just gonna put this right here just a tiny bit Now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo and I'm actually going to use this on my face and on my eyes, like in my inner corner. Um, so I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of this shade right here onto my cheekbones. Just a tiny bit because we are already super glowy. So I don't want to go too overboard and look like a disco ball. And then I'm going into the other shade right here with my pinky and just pop a little bit into the inner corners like that i have applied some anastasia beverly hills dark side gel eyeliner in my waterline and now it is time for the eyelashes today i'm gonna use the ggb beauty eyelashes in the style days this is what they look like i designed the lashes and the packaging myself so i'm gonna show you guys days this is Days and this is our most natural style at the moment. It is a very fine and feathery lash, perfect for everyday glam and I'm gonna put them on right now for the first time in my tutorial. I have my lash right here and I'm gonna use a little bit of the Duo Lash Glue on the lash band. I'm not gonna apply too much, just a thin line so it covers the band. I'm just gonna let this dry for a couple of seconds and I have my tweezers ready because I like to apply my lashes with my tweezers so I'm just gonna let this dry and I'm just going to apply them okay guys the lashes are officially on what do you guys think 
I love them. I think they look amazing. If you guys were wondering, all of the GGB lashes are 100% vegan and cruelty free. They are also reusable, lightweight. The lash band is like super bendable, so they're super easy to apply and I'm in love. I love them. I love them so much. I'm just gonna finish off the look with my lips. I'm using NYX Coffee Lip Liner to overline my lips as always. And then on top of that, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is the original first one that came out and I think it goes perfect with today's look. Okay guys, so this is it for the finished makeup look. I think it looks so good. I'm loving the warm, fiery eyes and I love the dewy skin. I haven't done dewy skin in such a long time. So I really, really hope you guys loved this makeup tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time. Whew, I upload a new video and I will see you guys back in my next one. Bye!